established. But in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. From the gun on third down, McCain. What? And it's complete. <laughs> If I threw that on all Madden, that would have been intercepted for a touchdown. Just saying. He threw it way behind him. Oh my god, if I did that? Off the play fake. McCain. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. And that is gonna be pulled in one-handed. Wow. The protection was the protection was like immaculate. They're still looking for their first touchdown of the game, and for a second, I thought they had it right there. But looking on the sideline, it's finally good to see nods of approval. It's a welcome sign of life that this offense needed. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's gonna be brought down just Well, so much for my not give up a touchdown goal. Seven yards to pick up there. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag round on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. To throw on second down, McCain. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. The passing windows are just not there, and that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. No, 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 sir. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense is... All right. Well, I'm very proud that we held to three. Defense is in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound. Still up by eight points. Makes the score Lions 17. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the side. We haven't given up a touchdown this whole game. I mean, that's pretty damn good. They have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat, but they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone. Hound this football. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A little jet sweep to start the drive. There's no way Rokon Smith can hold, can keep up with him. Come on, dude. Deontay Harris has like 93 speed and 95 acceleration, and Roquan Smith was step for step. And there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. That was that was straight garbage. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And 11 at the 36-yard line. They go to Johnson again. Yes. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final <sighs> We start quarter number four. On third down, here comes Swift. And he's got enough for the Don't try it. Don't try it. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied. Don't even try it. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. 
they feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Well, I think you'd have to say defensively, these guys are doing their job pretty well, right? Yeah, we talked about them holding them under 20 points, right, on defense. And they've done that. They've held them. The problem is their own offense hasn't answered their challenge, which was to score more. Yeah, exactly. I remember you saying magic number was right around 20, and the offense has been the issue. You're right. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. He winds up getting only... Roquan Smith is one of the most overpowered players in all of Madden. You know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. I think he got it. Same case on that play. And he is going to have a Lions first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. A first down carry here for Johnson. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Avery Williamson there to make the stop. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Johnson. And he's going yeah. to take this down close to a first That's what you get. The Bears 15 That's what you get, Roquan. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. On first down. It's Johnson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, no doubt here in the fourth quarter, this is a huge defensive series. Hey, they can read the scoreboard. They realize if they give up a field goal here, this game might be out of reach. They understand the stakes and are playing accordingly. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the third. I'm actually not going to take a risk and risk throwing an interception. I'm just going to run the ball and kick the field goal. Unless, no, Roquan's on Zach Paschal. Knowing him, he'll probably pick it off. I'm just going to run the ball and uh, take the points. If that was any other linebacker, I would have I would have tested him. But since that was Roquan Smith, he, knowing him, he probably would have intercepted it. <laughs> All right, Rook, time to get your first touchdown of the game. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. On first and ten, McCain looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Cohen. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. They need a touchdown, the two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Okay, if, if, that's, if that's what your plan is to score, if you're going to run stick routes, then go right ahead. to the Chicago first down. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe oh, 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 oh. Time no, sir. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Don't be trying that it draw. A beauty, but when it does it, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. 
Looking to throw on second down. McCain. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with the first down after a gain of about 11 as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes <sighs> left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, McCain. Pass in Perfect complete. coverage. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. What are they doing? Back to the air on second down. McCain. Throw left side oh. Play. That's Cohen. Five yard and loss. Of course he caught it. And a flag? No! How dare you, Madden? How dare you? How dare you? That was legitimately the only way they were going to get that first down. Now they're taking too long. They're taking way too long. Look at the Bears trying to act like they're going to win this game. Ah, you need another touchdown, boys. seconds to go in the game have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven again it's Johnson and let's go 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30 now the Bears gonna use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And Let's go. Down to about the 20 yard line. Now the Bears will use their third not today. You got two interceptions off me, but not today. Eight seconds to go in this football game. The busy night continues for Johnson. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. 
So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because yeah, it was a grind. It was a total grind. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this... You know, every team wants to be physical. We, we've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was they only had 24 game. yards rushing, and yet they only lost so by five Detroit, points. Their strong strike to the year continued. Because of those turnovers. Because of those turnovers. Frustrated receiver, come on. Come on, Zach. Bobby Bronson, superstar, deep end zone KO. Defenders with this ability force more catch knockouts and react quicker in deep zone coverage. 20 plus yards from line of scrimmage and inside the numbers. Okay. Okay. Bobby Bronson, I'll take that. All right, let's quickly do our scouting. Um... We have two seconds this year. Nothing crazy. Man, they always have such good centers. I wouldn't mind having a second tight end. It would give us more ways to attack the defense, and also it would give us some insurance if if um, Hawkinson were ever to get hurt again. Okay, well, let's go ahead and play Carolina. One and four. Last time I played Carolina, they whooped me. Because I couldn't stop Christian McCaffrey and also Derek Brown, that D-tackle, stuffed basically every single run <laughs> himself. Today, from Ford Field in Detroit, it's week seven of because that dude, that dude is another really overpowered player in this game. He's a good player, don't get me wrong, but straight dominates. Some other players that are supremely overpowered, Kenny Clark, um, Derek Brown, Levante David is really powerful, as is Devin White. Um, those guys are all supremely powerful in this game. Especially on all Madden, they pretty much never make a mistake. Ever. Fred Warner on the 49ers. Uh, Bobby Wagner is another really, really overpowered player. 
pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Carolina Panthers and the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, They're one and four, but I'm telling you, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Pretty sure they also have DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson along with Christian McCaffrey, so it's going to be extremely difficult to stop these guys on offense. There's Dear Brown, D. Brown. Now the former Terrapin, this is Ty Johnson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here, second and a yard from the 34. Not taking a shot. What are you, crazy? I'm going to take the first down. Going to have to double him every single play. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I doubled him and he still shed it. He still shed it within a uh, second. A lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. There we go. And is Quintez Cephas. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers. Still get a touchdown. No more messing around. Good pick up there, 22. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. Now Pascal should be open deep, provided I get protection. Now a play fake at Stafford. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Zach Pascal, his third touchdown now on the year. If they're going to keep showing me that look, trying to cover him with like what, an outside linebacker. <clears throat> look at Phillips. He actually did a decent job in coverage against a wide receiver. He actually did a decent job in coverage. It's insane. <clears throat> All right, now it's going to be time to stop them. It's going to be extremely difficult with Christian McCaffrey back there. Oh! That's how you start off a game. Ideally, we we're gonna be ahead by so much that that'll take them completely out of their run game. Okay. Good to know they're gonna give it to him regardless of down and distance. My God, get him! Lord have mercy. Big, 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 big right there. Let's go down and score another touchdown. We'll be in shape.
He says out at the eight-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. I'm literally double teaming him with my two best defensive linemen. Let's see what he does. On second down, Swift. He shed it. And a short three-yard pickup gets him up to the 15. He shed it. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and What are they ten. doing? First and 10 at the 31 yard line. So, whatever way Brown goes, I'm going to go the opposite way. From the gun, here's Swift. There we go. Yeah, he's gonna get a solid gain of okay, he actually got held up pretty good there. Second and right at a yard. At the 40 yard line. A gain of nine brings up second and one. On second down now, Swift, and he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. A pair of first downs gives them a first and 10 up at the 44. Now they'll try the jet sweep here. Oh, 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 oh. Love it. Love that block by Jesse James, too. They'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Ah, didn't work quite as well with Pascal. They blitzing that corner? I think they are, but I'm gonna run it anyways. They'll run it with Johnson. Able to break one Just like that. Yep, that was an overload seam. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ty Johnson pushed Derek Brown into the ground. What a play. Just ran over him. I mean, to be fair, he was also getting blocked by Nicholson, too. That was awesome. That was great. And that zone, that zone week did really well against them, too. That zone week, I'm going to have to remember that. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Bunch halfback strong. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Out of 
the gun. Bridgewater. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Damn, they have Mark Andrews too. That dude is really good. No. They're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. The juke actually took him backwards. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Looking to throw on second down. Bridgewater gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. Oh, a nice job they did getting to him quick. Well placed football. Nice play. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. 